It's time now for the Business of Health, brought to you by Hendricks Regional Health. Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central Indiana has unveiled plans for a new home and mentoring hub, which will mean a healthy improvement for the organization. Barbara Lewis is back this week filling in for Kylie Valletta in the business of health. Welcome back, Barbara. Well, thank you very much, and this is big news indeed. Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Central Indiana will soon start renovations at 14th and North Meridian in downtown Indianapolis next month. So joining me to talk about the new center and its goal of helping children live healthy and successful lives are Susan Brock Williams, immediate past board president, and Aaron Boyle, board and campaign committee member. And thank you both for taking time and being here today. Thank you. Thanks, so let's first talk about the location. Why did you choose the location? And I think this is um, this question's for both of you. But Susan, let, let me start with you. Well, the location really speaks to the need that we have for mentors. We have about a thousand kids in our community right now waiting for a big brother or a big sister. So by having this central location where we're bold and we're noticeable, people will hopefully uh, understand the need for filling our mission and helping these kids. Okay, and Aaron, your expertise is real estate, so uh, uh, same question for you. Why yeah, the so location? Well, the building is centrally located within Indianapolis and within the, the three-county area that we serve, so it's easy for our volunteers and, and bigs and littles to get to. Okay, and so now you have uh, renovations to do, mm -hmm. and, and quite a bit of those. What will the center offer when it's completed? We hope, as you said, it will be a mentoring hub for mm -hmm. our community. So we'll have activities like training our bigs, uh, having uh, match activities, as we call them. So we get our matches together on a regular basis to do fun things, cooking, play games, uh, whatever. We'll also have fundraising events there, nice receptions for our donors and supporters. So there's a lot that we can do in the building. One exciting thing we're having in the lobby is a slide that comes from the second floor down to the, the uh, first floor, so hopefully the matches will have fun doing that. Okay, great. And anything to, to add there, Aaron? Well, it's just, you know, we it's, a, it's a, a much more comfortable place for the employees to work. It's central to where a lot of them live, um, and it's central to uh, a lot of the um, the volunteers that we have. Um, okay. It's dueling slides too, by the way. Okay. All right, yes. <laughs> it's dueling slides, not just races. <clears throat> oh, great. So, so let's talk a little bit about the, the, the benefits um, to these um, young, young people who are taking advantage of this and who are lucky enough to be matched with a, a big sister or a big brother. I mean, what you both have been longtime board members. What, what have you seen? What impact are, are, is this organization having in these kids' lives? Well, we have real data nationally that shows that for littles that go through our program, they are uh, less likely to engage in risky behaviors. 97% are less likely to. They have better grades. They make better choices, they feel more confident. So that all leads to better health. Okay. And you still need some community support here. I know mm -hmm. this, this, is, this is just the announcement and, and now things will, will go underway. So what sort of things are you hoping that the business community and the community at large will help you with now? Well, we're, we're looking, always looking for, for more volunteers. We have over a thousand kids waiting on the wait list. Uh, we need bigs to volunteer. We're also doing a capital campaign to pay for the building and the improvements, as well as um, a two million dollar investment in expanding our program. So we're we're looking we're looking for people to donate to the capital campaign as well. You know, I didn't ask about uh, about numbers. How much was the the building, and how much are you hoping to raise? Uh, the building itself is about a one million eight hundred thousand dollars, and we're putting another. $3 million into renovations and moving costs and furniture and things like that. Okay. And, and Susan, what are you hoping that the community steps forward and does for you? One is consider being a big. Yeah. We have such a need for volunteers. It, it, it makes me sad that there's these thousand kids wanting a big brother or a big sister, and sometimes they have to wait up to a year or two years even mm -hmm. to get that person. We're particularly looking for male mentors, so any men out there who might want to volunteer, please let us know. But then the business community and the individual donors and foundations that might support this effort is, is sorely needed. Okay, so. so hope people who are thinking about becoming mentors will go on the website yes. and They'll find out what, what's uh, required of them mm -hmm. and, and if they're interested to contact you. Right. Yes. Right. Well, congratulations on this big announcement. Glad Thank to you. have Thank you both you. here. Gary, back to you. 